I'm going to teach you how to do a quick salt and pepper shrimp. You can get this at the Asian, it has to be like an Asian Vietnamese um, grocery store. Because uh, they won't have this at a Korean store. This is um, salt and pepper shrimp. It comes attached like this, but I cut it open. It's called Spices for Salty Fried Shrimp. So this is the spices for the shrimp. And you don't need that much. This will last you a long time, all this right here. So uh, don't follow the direction on the container. This is how I, I do it. This is the cornstarch mixture. But here I have a bowl of shrimp. It's already drained. So I'm just gonna shake a little bit off the, I cut a hole in here. Just a little bit, the like a quarter teaspoon. A quarter teaspoon over the shrimp. Not much. A quarter teaspoon is plenty. Uh, don't go over a quarter teaspoon. Do an eighth to a quarter teaspoon of um, this salt and pepper mixture. Leave that aside. So I have some lobster tail. It's frozen. Comes frozen. Fresh be better, but this is frozen. So I'm going to let it thaw out. And you're just going to take the meat from the shell. And we're going to roll spice it up with the salt and pepper shrimp ingredient. Then you just pull the lobster meat out of the shell. You can use the shell and make a seafood stock if you want. I'm going to cut this open. Cut the smaller so it'll be easier, be faster to cook. So I cut up both lobster meat. I'm going to add a little a sprinkling of the sauce on here. Not much. So I already seasoned the lobster and the shrimp. And set aside. Now this packet right here is um, like a cornstarch. So if you run out of this, you can use cornstarch or sweet potato starch. So I'm gonna put it right here. And what you do is you roll, you roll your shrimp in this mixture. Roll your seafood in here and then shake off any excess flour. Here's some lobster. You want to cover all area of the lobster meat and make sure your oil is on high because this cook fairly quickly the seafood. You don't want to leave it in there too long otherwise it will uh, be chewy. Make sure your oil is nice and uh, hot. How you know? See, stick your chopstick in there and it's fizzing. So let, let's add the shrimp in first. Leave it on high. Just 
actually takes about only uh, two, two minutes, one minute on each side. Okay, now we want to flip it. Side, it's, it's done. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. Now we're going to put our lobster in. the pan so that way it won't it'll cook faster. You don't want to touch it until it'll cook at least one minute on each side. Lots will be even quicker, be less than two minutes. Okay, this one's ready to come out. You don't want to cook it too long, you want your lots will be tough. Okay, let's try the lobster. Let's pick the biggest one so you can cut into it and you can see that it's cooked. You don't have to cook it too long. See? So don't cook it too long for the lobster. Less than a minute and a half. So definitely under two minutes. What's this one nice and thick here? Oh, why your lobster meat will be chewy. Okay, let's let let's taste this. Mmm. I think for the lobster meat you can do it's not chewy, so you can definitely do 35 seconds on each side. So like a minute and five, ten seconds be perfect. Mmm. Delicious. The salt and pepper packet that came with it is so delicious. You have to taste this for yourself. Look at this. It's a quick fried shrimp, salt and pepper shrimp. And salt and pepper lobster. It is so good. Look at that. Paired with some cilantro and cucumber and rice. It's delicious. This you don't need a dipping sauce. Look at how crispy and light that is. Let's taste this. Mmm. Light and crispy. And the salt and pepper flavor. It's outstanding. Not too salt, not too salty. Remember the packet. But this is a dish you gotta eat right away. As soon as you fry it, you wanna eat it. Because the light crispy of the cornstarch and the umami flavor of the salt and pepper combined is delicious. Mmm. Let me see, I'll taste this lobster. 
Mmm, look at that. We cook it for about a minute and 20 seconds. Definitely you can cook the lobster only a minute and five seconds, still be good. Nice and tender, and these were frozen. And they are tender. The key to seafood is not to overcook. If you overcook it, it'd be chewy. This is delicious salt and pepper lobster. Bon appetit. See you in the next video.